Hey, did you hear? They caught him. <sighs> Let's not let that be on the tip of our tongues every time we run into somebody over the next week. I know, it's a tragedy. We caught him. They caught him. Did you hear? Who? D.B. Cooper? The Lucky Charms Leprechaun? Why do we all have to be thinking of this one thing at once? I know, because it's a tragedy. But we root this kind of stuff in our consciousness. Sure, you know, if you pray, pray for the people's families and all that business, but not let's, let's not root this kind of tragedy in our consciousness, you know? I mean, do, you, do we have to play the planes crashing into the tower over and over and over and over? Do we have to see the space shuttle blow up over and over? Challenger, for those of you old enough to remember. I'm not saying let's forget. I'm just saying, instead of either or, let's have some this and. So, I challenge you, as I challenge myself, to find something else that happened over the past few days. If you're like Jeff Mitchell, and you love uh, astronomy and astronomical uh, things, did they discover a new planet or galaxy? Um... You know, if you like science, you know, what what remarkable thing happened? Um, you know, if you like world politics, find something good that happened. At least mix that in there, you know? All right, I'm off my soapbox, but I'll get back on in a minute. <laughs> so the iron pour went well. I don't know if I'm red. Uh, sorry, you guys, that video wasn't that good as far as being able to see what was happening. I guess next time, no, not I guess. I'm going to, next time I'm going to suit up and participate as one of the fire putter outers or the hole pokers or something because uh, you're not allowed to get uh, close unless you're wearing the protective garb so next iron pour I'll, I'll don the protective garb and uh, get you guys some better footage I had some bonus footage I was going to post but it, it wasn't very bonus it was just more of the same just without my face up in here like this going hey yeah there's the pour see him, see him pouring the iron um, it was great though. The tabbouleh salad came out great. It was great to see everybody. Um, here's what wasn't so good though. So as you guys know, and I'm probably talking about it too much, I'm on the diet halfway through. This is the one week mark. Uh, no meat. So they usually do the, luckily they didn't have the brats. So I wasn't too sad to be missing them. It was just delicious hot dogs, which I also love. But, uh, so there was me and a couple other people who were eating vegetarian, so I brought some Tofurky dogs and, um, Light Life Smart Dogs. Don't ever buy the Light Life dogs. They're terrible. That being said, if you're somewhere, I didn't bring those so that meat eaters could try a vegetarian thing. I brought them because the people who don't eat meat can have something to eat as well. So there was one particular person who, oh, interesting, let me eat half of that. So she grabs the vegetarian hot dog, after eating her meat hot dog, eats it, doesn't like it, throws it away, and proceeds to make fun of it with a crowd of other people. Look, if there's 60 hot dogs and you eat meat, eat the hot dogs. Don't eat one of the five remaining vegetarian hot dogs and then proceed to make fun of it. That's just rude and clueless. Okay? Okay, off the soapbox again. This morning, I mailed out email to my uh, 40 artists in the art show this June. Mailed out the acceptance letters. Uh, emailed. Uh, about a third of them on Facebook, the uh, the rest of them were via email. So if you received one, welcome, congratulations, and thank you. It's going to be fun. Uh, got the details for the workshops too, so those are coming up. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. This is going to be really cool. Um, coming up in June, June 7th. But tomorrow the postcards go out, or the information goes out to the postcard makers. So I'll have those in hand by this time next week. You know what else I'll have in hand by this time next week? A nice cold beer. <laughs>